Hey guys, welcome back. So this video is going to be kind of like a tag video that I'm gonna create. I've been thinking of this for a little while now and so I thought this would be a cool video idea sharing polishes that are me in a bottle. So if you're a nail polish addict like me, I think you kind of know what I'm talking about. These are just nail polishes that really reflect me and who I am and these are the polishes that I gravitate towards just on a regular basis. These are the colors that are my ride or die like top dog nail polishes and they make me feel like me when I wear them. Like if you've ever put on a nail polish and it hasn't been you, like you feel like this just isn't my kind of nail polish. I also wanted to share a couple of those as well because I kind of feel like that helps you define like what is your nail polish in a bottle or what is you in a nail polish something like that so i'd also really love to hear what your guys's polishes are that are so you and then also especially polishes that aren't you i think that's really interesting so i'm going to tag a bunch of people down below if i forget i'm if i forget any of you i'm really sorry i'm going to try to tag as many people as i can because i want to make sure people will do this the reason i kind of was thinking of this like this idea came in my head is because i'm going to do a swap with rita beauty x and we've just been like talking and talking and talking about like what our favorite polishes are and that just really kind of like I had to critically think about polishes that are are me you know what I'm saying and it's like weird it's hard trying to have someone shop for you and you're trying to like explain to them like what you like and then I feel like both of us have really learned about like our nail polish tastes and what we like and what we really dislike like we've really just been like nailing it in like the polishes we really really like so that's what made me think of this and I think it'll be fun. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I don't know what to start with. I don't know what to start. Okay, so I obviously had to choose like toppers because I just feel like cool toppers are kind of like me. I love stuff that's fun and like interesting on your nails and like kind of looks like candy or like a birthday party or something. Um, so this first one is by Funky Fingers. This is like probably my favorite topper ever this is called saved by the glitter so you guys know i was like ranting and raving about this um in like my february nail polish video it's just all different like matte glitters in here it's white pink and blue and i just love that combination together it's so fun over so many different colors i definitely want to wear this over a bunch of different things i just don't want people to get like tired of hearing about it um, which I kind of feel bad about bringing it up now, but I just, I just love this. This is totally me in a bottle. This is something that like makes me feel like me. Like I feel like myself when I wear this. I don't know how to explain it, but I, I just, I love this so, so much. This is just definitely one of my all time favorite polishes to wear ever. Coincide with that. I have this Feather Effects by Color Club that I've mentioned before too. I don't think this has a color, but it's just multicolor matte bar glitter in a clear base. And this reminds me of Pocahontas for some reason. It may be because they have like a dream catcher on the bottle. By the way, I'm gonna do like close ups of all these polishes at the end. I'll just like play some music and show some close ups because obviously you can't see it really well back here. But yeah, Pocahontas, what was I saying? She's my favorite uh, Disney princess ever. Like, I love Pocahontas so much. Um, so, I don't know. This just reminds me of, like, how the leaves blow in the wind. And they're all colorful. And there's, like, glitter and sunlight and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I'm weird. But anyways, this is definitely me in a bottle. This is a super unique polish. I wish that I could find this. I've tried to find this so many times at Rue 21. Cannot find it anywhere. So, I'm really sad. But there's all types of stuff. Like, like multicolored matte glitters you can find in, like so many different brands but I really love this one again this is one that I think is so cute to toped topped over so many different colors you could just come up with so many combinations with this and it's going to be cute over pretty much anything okay so like a nail polish color that is so me is this right here um this is a polish that I used to wear back when I didn't really care about nail polish I had like two or three nail polishes in my collection and I would just randomly wear nail polish and this was one of the colors I used to always wear this is Sally Hansen's bubblegum pink and it's like a cooler tone kind of bluish pink and I love that I used to get so many compliments on my nails when I wear this like, this is definitely something I'll put it on and it just feels very traditional like it feels very I, I feel like myself when I wear this, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, love this. Okay, so I couldn't do this without mentioning this polish. This is so random. This is from 
uh, Rue 21 as well. It's a pop neon color. I believe it's in the color fuchsia. I'm not sure. It does not say. I hate that they don't have colors on them. But I always reach for, I used to always reach for this color. This is such a good formula nail polish. Like I can just swipe this right on my hands and like get out the door. It's also a great like toe color. I love how bright it is. I love fuchsia like bright fuchsia colors like this that just pop on the nail i love any kind of like bright colors but especially in like the pinky purple range love 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 okay i'm gonna switch it up a little bit and i'm gonna show you a category that is not me like that's what i'm saying like when i kind of was thinking of this idea i was like well the reason these colors are me are because these are not like as soon as i put on this color category i feel weird like i feel like i look ugly or something so that would have to be teals and if you like teals, don't get me wrong, I, I love them like in the bottle and on other people. That's why I have so many in my collection. Like I should technically de-stash these because I don't ever wear them and I don't enjoy them on myself, on my nails. But I don't want to give up on a color category. That just seems stupid to me. Like I want to love all colors, you know what I mean? Like all nail polish colors. And I do, it's just when I paint a teal or a green on my nails, Something about it is like, I want to take this off. Like this does not feel like comfortable to me. Like it doesn't feel authentic or something like that. It just totally disagrees with me. Here I have Zuza from Zoya. And this was one that, this is one of my first Zoya purchases ever. And I would just see swatches online and I was like, oh my God, that's so pretty. That is so pretty. And I just, I don't know. It just doesn't agree with me. Like I try so hard with teals. I have a million teals and I don't know. I'm waiting for the day that they will look really really awesome on me i think these look really good on people with like more medium skin tones like if you have a tan these tend to look good but if you're like fair and you have like any kind of redness i just feel like these don't look good oh and this one too this is like an emerald green look at how beautiful that is this is a bitsy polish this is called tiptoeing and oh my god when i see this in the bottle i'm like i have to have that that's beautiful it's it, it just it's so pretty in the bottle and then I put it on my nails and I'm like I gotta take this off this looks terrible okay so another polish that's kind of different and I feel like people kind of don't like these these are the china glaze of like feather effects this is called all of flutter or maybe it's not feather effects it's feather something I don't know but it's like little little tiny bar glitter this one in particular has like peach color bar glitter mixed with blue like a light periwinkle blue in a clear base and again this is one of those polishes that reminds me of like pocahontas like like native american or something like that and i love that i'm partially native american so like stuff like this i'm really really drawn to i i, I don't know why but i really really love this i i remember uh like just doing random nail polish shopping and looking up swatches of these and really really wanting them but they were really expensive and then i just happened to have found this one at tj maxx one time and i was elated i was so excited and i feel like everyone hates these but i love them this is totally me so this video wouldn't be anything without my like purpley pink colors i love these these are definitely polishes that I will always like gravitate towards um, on a daily basis. So me. So I have Sweet Hook from uh, China Glaze, one of my all-time favorites. Lucky Lucky Lavender and Spitfire from uh, Simple Colors. So if I'm just trying to reach for something really quick to paint on my nails, I just want something on my nails. These are what I grab and definitely like these feel like me. Okay, so another one I want to mention is this brown. This is Louise from Zoya, and I've talked about this several times, but I feel like this is me in a bottle because I feel like so many people are opposed to brown for some reason. I, I'm surprised to hear people say they don't like brown nails because whenever I wear this, I get so many compliments on my nails. Uh, I don't know what it is. Like, I just, like, jumped out and bought this one day, not even really feeling like I would really enjoy this color, but I, this is my favorite brown. I don't have a whole lot of browns, but this is just perfect. It's a very, very cool, cool tone chocolate brown. I love that. I'm not good with like warmer browns and stuff like that. Or like, I'll show you an example because it's one of the colors that just does not look good on me. But I love this. This looks so chic on the nails and it definitely makes me feel like good in my own skin. Okay, so let's talk about some more that are just not me in a bottle. They make me feel totally weird and uncomfortable and ugly. So this one right here is called Flynn from Zoya. And this was a total fail for me. And whenever I see polishes like this, I, I want to buy them and I want to grab them, but they do not look good on me. They look terrible. Like they just look 
like my nails are dirty or something like that so I was really 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 sad about that I need to de-stash this but I'm terrible about de-stashing because I feel like someday I'm gonna like this you know what I mean like uh, I can't I can't let it go it's a Zoya too like I can't I cannot de-stash a Zoya I feel like but yeah this looks terrible on me I swore when I wore it last time like I would never wear it again because it was so ugly but I might, I don't know. I want to try it, but I know it's going to be bad. Okay, and then this, um, this is a duochrome. And I don't like duochromes on my nails personally. Because it's more of like a dark color. And I, like I said, I like, I like lighter colors and pretty like girly colors. To me, this like just does not look good on me. It doesn't agree with me. I don't feel like myself when I wear this. This is called Kermit Me to Speak. And it's definitely a shifty polish. It looks more green when you look at it. And on camera, it's like shifting to the purple. But it's, you know... It's a duochrome, I don't like these. Okay, and then lastly for the ones that just make me feel not myself is probably gold. And gold is another one that I really wanna love and I'm drawn to when I'm out like shopping for nail polishes, especially like these kind of like nudier champagne -y golds. I will always like gravitate towards these, but they never, ever, ever look good on me. I don't know what it is. Again, it's like one of those things where I feel like, do you guys get that where you paint something on your nails and it just looks kind of dirty, like your nails just look like they're not clean or so like they've got gunk on them I feel like that a lot with yellows unless I top them with something but yeah I want to love these but as soon as I put them on I want to put like a pink on okay so I couldn't mention um nail polishes that are me without mentioning coral I love coral I love coral on everybody I think coral looks so pretty on everyone and some people don't like it like some people think it's like granny uh, my boyfriend's mom, she hates coral. Like, she always makes fun of me for wearing, like, corally colors. Me and her daughter. Um, this is Zoya's Wendy, and I, this is so pretty. I love coral. Again, it, this is something that I just definitely feel like, uh... I couldn't live without. And then the last two that are just me in a bottle, uh, I love like nudie colors but with a hint of like pink or purple. So I have one from Trust Fund Beauty. This is in no filter. And so this is just kind of like a colorless color type of polish as well as this. This is Brittany from Zoya and they're just, they're very neutral. I love neutral. Like neutrals will always make me feel very clean cut and like sophisticated and like professional or something and like very girly. I'm a very, very, like, I'm very much a girly girl, so that's why I have to gravitate towards, like, pinky nail polishes or just, like, soft colors. Um, I also wanted to mention Starfish from Simple Colors. I meant to mention that with, like, my more uh, purpley colors. These are definitely things that I will always agree with and find agreeable and feel like they are true to me. Okay, so that took a lot longer than I thought it was going to take. But yeah, I definitely want to hear of what you guys think of um, as far as like what your personal like nail polish is. What? what? I definitely want to hear from you guys what your nail polishes are. Like what is you in a bottle and the reasons why it's you in a bottle. And then also like a couple polishes that are just not you. That make you feel like a stranger to yourself. I also wanted to ask, this might help both me and Rita because we are shipping like she lives in Canada and I live in the States we've never shipped like internationally before so have you guys ever done that and like how much did it cost like if you shipped nail polishes which are typically pretty heavy about how much did it cost because we're both kind of like wondering we have no idea and we're like terrified that we're gonna go like try to ship our stuff and it's gonna be like a million dollars but um, yeah, if you could let us know, that'd be phenomenal. And then just like a quick announcement. Um, I have like two weeks left of school. I know I've kind of been like slacking on videos and stuff, but like I'm really trying to like this is crunch time for me. This is my last year of college. Um, so I have to make sure that I'm like really buckling down and like focusing on school. So once I get out of school, you guys will see me like very frequently. You probably will get tired of me over the summer because I plan on really like trying to do YouTube and everything over the summer. I'm gonna have a lot of free time. So yeah, I definitely miss you guys and I definitely wish I had more time. Like these last two weeks are gonna go by so slow. I have so much I have to do um, as far as like finals and finishing up school it really sucks. I'd much rather be doing this. Um, but yeah, I wanted to go ahead and film this, uh, you know, to put a video up and I've been thinking about it. So definitely, definitely do this video. Let me know you guys did this video so that way I can go watch it in case I forgot to like mention you down in the description box. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!